Yo bros, welcome to the fourth episode of Struggle to Glory, the series where I try to have fun with the shit team. Last episode left us one point away from winning the Division 8 title, so that's going to be the goal of the episode. But it's too easy, one point in three games, so let's make it in two games. It really shouldn't be that hard anyway, but who knows. But if I lose both games and I don't win the Division, I'm going to delete everything in the game. But there's someone coming to help us, because EA gave away a pack with a guaranteed inform. Pretty sure he's going to earn its place in the team. So let's find out who is our new hero. Also, let's open some bronze packs, because why not? Here it is, our new hero, the best player of the squad for sure. Let's hope for a walkout. Was that a walkout? Gomez! Just played against 87 Gomez! This is good. I'm happy. And let's open some bronze packs. So, this is our team it's looking hella sexy. It's the best team we ever had. Very curious about this Gomez card. I never used it on my account. Any of the Gomez is the star of the team. Him and Charles together. Let's do this! So let's go into our first game. And for the first time, the best player on the field is on my team. It's Gomez. And look who is there. It was Alexander. We played, him, we played against him last episode. And I don't really remember him. So yeah, I guess we did a good job containing him. And Gomez starts with the right foot and scores a goal right away using his pace, which is what I really want him for. I used SBC Giovinco before and this guy feels better than him, which is amazing. Giovinco has been a super sub for me for half the year maybe. And look at this goal. Cheeky ship shot and it's 2-0. By the way, our opponent's name is Lisbon Lions, which makes me feel very sympathetic for him. I'm from Lisbon, I'm a sporting fan, and you know, our symbol is a lion. Wait, wait, look at this, look at this. Incredible mistake by him. Gomez doesn't forgive him, and the best, maybe this is the best goal of the series so far. It wasn't a hard one, but look at this movement. Just beautiful. Gomez the Butterfly. Anyway, I was talking about Lisbon Lions, but the true Lisbon Lions are Celtic, Glasgow Celtic, because they won the Champions League in Lisbon against Inter Milan a ton of years ago. I think the game is in black and white. And yeah, they've won this nickname. And Charles showing Gomez. He can score as well. 4 0 up before the half time. And looking at Charles. Our opponent decided to rage quit, it's the first rage quit of the series. Gomez with a 10.0, perfect score in the first game and we win Division 9. Good job us. So let's jump into game 2 and see if we can continue our incredible form. Yes! And in game 2 we play against another gold team, but this is not just any gold team, look at that, there's Godin88. Gomez 83, Aspas 83, this is a proper gold team and I guess he looked at my team, he saw the bronzes and he got really cocky and tried to dribble and I, I love when people start like that, it means they, they think it's going to be an easy game, which I don't think it will be the case and you know what happens when people underestimate us because of the gold cards, I mean this is a bad example but right away, look it's minute 6, guess what's happening now i'll let you guess uh, make a wild guess of course gomez the butterfly he won this nickname in the last game and i'm sticking with it because of that beautiful kick is gomez the butterfly now here we almost go 2 nil up don't get me wrong this game was not easy and look uh gold cards i guess can catch him and oh well, this was really, really unlucky, and you can see me in the image, I was not happy about it. I get a bit prideful during FIFA matches, and if I think I deserve to win, and I start, you know, struggling, or I get an unlucky goal, 
I, I, I get a bit mad and yeah, I guess I have to fight that. It's like com composure, something that I have to improve for next FIFA. And here Rodriguez, he fails an easy goal. It wasn't easy, but it will be such a beautiful goal. And on the second half, he scores this. And look, <laughs> look at me on the corner. I wasn't happy at all. I should be winning this game and I'm probably not because of the bronze cards which sometimes are not easy to deal with. Even Charles, you know, Charles is not perfect. He's not going to score every shot. But we did all we could to score and are we going to lose this last game? Well, let's just say there's a new special bronze card which we packed. And <laughs> yeah, this celebration, I, I guess I guess I needed to put that out of my system. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, 2-2, two, two. no more time to win the game. I was really upset, as you can see, I wanted a perfect episode. But I think it, a 2-2 two, two is a great result for this game. The guy was good, you saw him dribbling. And we were a bit unlucky, we could be ahead, but we weren't. Whatever. Next game. And on this last game of the episode, I'll show you something new. A kit clash. Both of my kits are white, the guy didn't change his, you can see me pondering in the corner. I, I thought, yeah, let's just do it, and we see what we don't want to see. A 5 at the back with Smalling, Butland's in goal, Vardy up top, which is my nemesis, he always scores against me, and we're up possibly for a very, very hard game. And as if that wasn't enough, we were not being lucky, as you could see. And we get this chance and I really take my time and make sure the ball goes in and we're 1-0 up. Now, I won't lie, this game was the easiest so far. I don't know if the kit clash was, you know, the guy was confused with the colors more than I was. But this game was really easy. And I hope episodes like this really inspire you guys for what this series is all about, which is having fun mostly of course but the, my main point with this series is that you can you can go up in the divisions with a bronze team you can have fun you can give up a fight i mean you can give a fight to people with better squads than you and this is very important right now this is really important and why is that fifa 18 is coming and by the way he just scored on the first shot yet in the game and here I'm taking inspiration from that goal from the, the other match, the other guy scored. Anyway, on FIFA, FIFA 18 is coming and no one will have coins in the beginning. And the first instinct is just to buy your favorite players right away, spend all the coins you get. And that's not the way to have a super team. If you spend all your coins, it will take a while to gather coins to buy better players. So. What I'm doing is I, I'll buy a few FIFA points in the beginning of the game and I'll draft, draft, draft with those FIFA points for the first three days and this will make me win loads of packs and I won't use them right away. I will use them when the one to watches are on packs because if imagine if we pack an Neymar or a Dembele, I'm going to go for that and I'm going to draft. After the packs, I'll have a lot of money, I will save it, I will use it on investments, but I won't be buying my main team right away. And I hope some of you, after seeing this, you can do the same, because later on the road, a week or two, or even a month after, you'll have double the money you could have. Anyway, 6-1, biggest win ever on the channel. I hope I made a point. Look at that, 17 shots on target against two, what domination. And this is where we end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, please subscribe, comment down below something, get in touch with me. I love comments. <laughs> I love interaction with my viewers. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye.